Shalom y'all. My name is Jane Goldie Wynn and I'm the author of Rainbow in the Night, A Journey of Redemption. And I'd just like to spend a few minutes talking to you today about some of what I experienced when I was writing the book. And one of the scriptures that really spoke to me in the beginning of my journey is a scripture from Isaiah 45.3 that says, I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. Again, Isaiah 45, 3. And what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today is some of what I had to experience when I was in the middle of writing the book. And, and part of the reason I wanted to write the book is to bring hope to others who might be going through difficult times because, you know, once you go through something yourself, then you can comfort others with the comfort the Lord himself has given you. And there was a time in my life when I really had to let go of a lot of hopes and dreams and aspirations and just maybe a vision of what I thought I wanted my life to look like. And I had to go through a very dark season, a season where I really experienced despair and even depression. And what I ended up having to do was to cry out to God. I had to cleave to Him, cling to Him, and to ask Him to intervene in my life because I only ultimately wanted what He wanted for my life. But what that involved was the need to surrender. Everything that I thought I wanted, I needed to, to, to surrender to Him and put it on the altar and just say, Lord, I really don't want my will. I want your will to be done in my life. I just need your strength and I need your help and I need your hope and I know I can get through this to the other side. And the Lord is so faithful because of course that is exactly what happened. And once I did surrender everything that was important to me that I thought I had to have totally to the Lord, then came a great freedom in my life. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And once I got to the truth that I had to recognize that the Lord knew what was best for me. And that is what was life transforming. And once I ended up in that place, I just had so much joy I returned to my life. And the scripture that really spoke to me was Romans 15, 13. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So I just want to offer you hope today that as you read my book and uh, perhaps you know you look at this video today and you're going through a difficult time, just know that the Lord does have your very best interests at heart and He only wants what be what's best for you even though it doesn't feel like that at the time. It's just being able to trust Him in the dark places and know that He will not lead you astray. So I'm just very hopeful and I'm just um, prayerful that you will be able to come to that place in your life and that you will just receive his hope and his joy and his peace and know his purposes are for everlasting and everything that he does in our lives we need to look at through an eternal perspective because this earthly life is just but a moment but eternity is forever so i just hope that this encourages you today and just know that um, i'm here for you and you can learn more about my book or anything you might need to know about some of the blogs and other videos I've posted on my website, www.janegoldywind.com. And again, I'm the author of Rainbow in the Night, and I look forward to hearing from you. You can feel free to email me or get in touch with me, and I just pray God's peace upon you. So I'll say shalom, y'all.